Today we will be showing you how to add running lights to your RAM TRX mirrors. At the time of filming this video, this procedure applies to RAM TRX trucks equipped with turn signal lights on the mirror. Included in this kit are two modules, two connectors, two orange lengths of wire, two T-tabs, and a bag containing spade connectors with a butt connector. These will not be utilized. Start by removing the two door panel covers circled here. Using a 90 degree pick, remove the cover under the door armrest. Using a 10 millimeter socket, unscrew the two bolts. Using a pick, remove the cover behind the door handle. Using a 10 millimeter socket, unscrew the bolt behind the door handle. You may have to open the door handle to get better access. With a plastic trim removal tool, remove the power window and mirror adjust switch from the door panel. Unplug the connector from the back of the switch. The door panel is held on with trim clips. Using a trim removal tool, start by the speaker and move around the door panel, popping the trim clips out. Be sure to be aware of the door lock lever as it can break if the door panel is not removed carefully. There are two clips holding the door latch cable in place. Using pliers, depress the two clips and pull the door cable straight back, then slide it all the way forward and pull it straight up to remove it. Your truck may be equipped with this final connector. If so, unlock the connector lock and press the connector latch in while pulling up to release it. Unplug the up to three connectors for the mirror that are plugged into the door module. Using a knife, carefully cut back some of the harness tape. Be careful not to cut any wires while doing so. For this installation, we will be focusing on the gray wire in pin 1 and the brown wire in pin 5. Pin 1 is located in the bottom left corner of the connector. Pin 5 is located in the bottom right corner of the connector. In this graphic, pin 1 is circled in blue and pin 5 is circled in red. Cut the wire and pin 1 on the black connector. Leave space between the connector and the cut. Strip both sides of the cut wire. Taking the module provided by Boost Auto Parts, the single side orange wire will be crimped to the wire side going towards the mirror. Insert the strip wire into the butt connector and crimp it down. Taking the four pin connector provided in the kit, the orange wire is for running light input, the blue wire is for turn signal input, the black wire is for ground. Disregard the butt connector on the black wire as we will only be utilizing the spade connector. Plug in the 4-pin connector into the module 4-pin connector. Make sure the wires from both connectors correspond in color. Taking the blue turn signal input wire from the module, insert the connector side wire that was cut and stripped from pin 1. Once inserted, crimp the butt connector down. Using one of the T-taps provided by Boost Auto Parts, T-tap to the wire and pin 5 on the black connector. Use pliers to ensure the T-tap locks. Taking the spade connector on the black ground wire, insert it into the T-tap. Make sure the metal from the spade connector is inserted into the middle of the T-tap. Taking the orange running light wire, disconnect the black cylindrical connector. Set aside the longer piece of wire as we will be utilizing the shorter piece for now. Remove the pre-stripped portion of the end of the wire. 
Insert the stripped portion of the wire into the butt connector on the orange running light wire input wire on the module and crimp it down. Using a heat gun, heat shrink all of the butt connectors down. Connect the up to three connectors for the mirror back into the door module. The connectors can only go into one slot on the door module. Remove the door grommet located above the speaker. Using a pick, poke a hole in the grommet, making sure not to nick any wires in the process. Reconnect the long side of the orange running light wire back to the short side. Taking the end of the orange running light wire, feed it through the hole that was created in the door grommet. Pull the orange running light wire through the grommet. Remove the door, door jam grommet. Remove the grommet covering the cab side door jam connector. To remove this connector from the body of the truck, there is one clip on top and two clips on the bottom. To press the clip on top that is located in the middle, the top should pop out. There are two tabs at the bottom of the connector. Use your hand to depress one and a screwdriver to depress the other. The connector should then pull from the body of the truck. Feed the orange running light wire from the door panel side to the door jam side through the door. Make sure to be aware of the window regulator when moving through. Reinstall the door grommet. Using a straight piece of metal, in this case we are using a straightened out coat hanger, run it through the door jam boot, being careful not to catch any wires. Tape the orange running light wire to the straightened out piece of metal and pull it through from the door side to the door jam side. Locate the area in the middle of the connector. There may be a black cable going through it and run the orange running light wire underneath the black cable through the connector. Pull the wire all the way through the connector. Using your hands or a trim removal tool, remove the kick panel. Feeding the orange wire through into the cab of the vehicle, there should be an opening on the cab side where the wire can be pulled through. On the driver's side, this is located by the parking brake. Pull the wire through into the cab of the vehicle. Reinstall the door jam connector boot cover. Reinsert the door jam connector into the cab of the truck. Reinstall the grommet for the door jam, making sure the tab points up. Please complete the passenger side. The procedure is the same. We will now be installing the door panels. Reinstall the connector from the door panel into its slot above the speaker. Make sure to lock it into place. Reinstall the door handle cable. Insert the metal cylinder and pull the cable back, inserting it into place. Pull the window switch connector through the door panel, making sure that it does not fall back into the door. Reinsert the door lock lever. 
Line up the door panel clips and press the door panel back into place, making sure each clip engages around the door panel. Reconnect the window switch and press it into place. Screw in the bolt behind the door panel and reinstall the trim cover. Screw in the two bolts underneath the door armrest and reinstall the trim cover. Moving over to the passenger side, there may be a fabric trim panel. Using a trim removal tool, remove the first two of three trim panel clips and pull the trim panel to the side. Disconnect the connector for the light. Using a small straight piece of metal, in this case we are using a straightened out coat hanger, run it from the driver side to the passenger side. The opening should be above the gas pedal. Then tape the passenger side orange running light wire to the coat hanger. Pull the piece of metal through to the driver side, making sure not to pinch wires. for the light on the passenger side footwell trim cover, then reinstall the trim panel and the clips into it their place. Using a 7mm socket, unscrew the two bolts holding on the trim panel underneath the steering wheel. Remove the trim panel under the steering wheel. Locate the fuse box under the steering wheel. We will be tapping to fuse 49. Please remove the 15 amp fuse in slot 49. Cut both the driver and passenger side running light wires down to length. Strip both the passenger and driver side running light wires. Twist the stripped ends together. Insert the stripped ends into the butt connector on the fuse tap. Crimp the butt connector down. Install the 15 amp fuse into the bottom slot of the fuse tap. Install the fuse tap into slot 49. Reinstall the trim panel under the steering wheel, making sure all the clips are pressed into place. Reinstall the two bolts for the trim panel. Reinstall the kick panel. Your installation is now complete. To get these products and more, please visit us at BoostAutoParts.com.